15, 2002. I was born in Staten Island. My father was in the military, so we moved around a lot, so I wasn't there for too long, but I love going back to New York. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling um, like conquering things today, so it um, should, should be productive. Be I was in New York recording a song with Alicia Keys. She actually produced my vocals. We recorded at Electric Lady Studios, which was actually Jimi Hendrix's studio. That was pretty dope. It was really cool to be there. It's like crazy graphics and things on the walls. It had a good vibe, a really good energy to it. How you doing? <laughs> That's right. What are you eating, your egg sandwich? No, 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 this time I got something even stranger. I don't know what the hell this is now, because it's cold. I was so sick at the time, I was so upset, because I really wanted to put my all into the record. We should have all stuff up today. What? I am. What? That's the worst thing when you're sick and you have to do a record, because you can't give it your all, but you still have to pull through. I'm OK, though. I'll be fine. I just, you know. I just woke up all like kind of stuffed up and my eyes are puffy and I feel like my throat's a little so I you getting a little sick. A little bit. I definitely wanted to work with Alicia Keys. Ballin came out, it was like the first thing that I've heard being played on the radio that I thought just had such soul and, and heart in it. I love, love, loved it. And she had vocals too, which I really respect. We're about to lay the yeah. smashing pimped out vocals, okay? <laughs> Never heard her like this before. It's a brand new thing, and it's gonna be crazy. She's really gonna kill this. I had to warm up a little bit. And it's just good for your voice so you don't blow anything out <laughs> in the long run. She's taught me some of her vocal warm-ups. I showed her some of mine, it was funny. Oh, Andy Felice. Andy Felice. <laughs> okay. Andy Felice. You like Andy Gassi? Okay. <laughs> you need to do it. Andy Felice. That was really, really cool. Okay. Are you ready? Feeling it, yes, ready. The song is called Impossible. <laughs> And say it over one more time because the background say impossible. Oh, it's impossible! And then you can come in with the oh, it's impossible again. Oh, well, that still sucked, but it's better. Some people are really difficult to work with. It makes everything flow so much easier when everyone's just cool about listening to each other's ideas and opinions and being open minded. You can keep that one and I just do another. Try to execute just a little bit better. Yeah. Yo, uh, Oh. It's like hard, you know? Yeah, yeah. I was so happy that, you know, Alicia didn't have any ego or any kind of, you know, I'm an artist too, so da da da, da whatever. She was just so great. I, I can't say enough. <laughs> okay, okay. I thought you were taking me from the. <laughs> Over. It's impossible. Impossible, baby. <laughs> oh, oh. One more time. One more time. Oh, oh. I'm not a huge fan of being in the studio. The headphones can be confining and, and the mic distance that you're supposed to play with. I don't like all that. After a while, it gets really old to me. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Sometimes I get really frustrated, sorry, and I scream like that. But yeah, it's a long process to, to be in there. Oh, baby, it's impossible! Uh-huh, and then the, the backgrounds will come in and then you come in with an answer. Oh, it's impossible, baby! Whatever the fr because we're almost at the end right, right. here. You can treat a man and play over. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bring your coffee. Banging. Come on out of here, sister girl. Smash, girl. Oh, Smashing yeah. pumpkin. Smashing pumpkin, that's my new nickname. Smashing pumpkin? For you. Why? Smashing pumpkin. Smashing You come back and you comp it, which is you pick out what the best takes are of each vocal. What you feeling? I did like an ad lib, yay! On the, on, on one. Number two. 
Yeah. You can take anything from, say, um, impossible. Impossible. Like, I, I could be like, I like the oh of that, but I like the impos of the first part. So those are the little secrets that you don't know about <laughs> that uh, I just told you, so I just blew my cover. <laughs> but, you know, we'll take it in different pieces, but it's little things like that. But I have no shame. It's okay. <laughs> it's all real. At the end, I guess Alicia had a couple favorites that she thought were cool. I would like to take the two tracks of the second verse and I would like to make that into one. I made a couple notes with her while I was there on which takes I like better. Ow! She's gonna pimp on this song. She's gonna become a big old pimp. <laughs> all right? And just pimp all of them on this bad boy. The end result for Impossible was great. It's a very tiring process, but even though it's hard work and whatnot, it's it's fun. Ever since I was a little girl, this is what I wanted to do. So, you know, how can I complain in the end about the long hours and being tired? It's my dream, and, and I'm living it thanks to, you know, all the fans and everything. I, I I'm I'm truly blessed, and um, I'm really grateful. The 16th, 2002. I am back in the studio recording another song for the record with Linda Perry. Linda Perry was the lead singer of the Four Non Blondes. settle into recording when I get there. I can't go straight in usually and start recording. I need to come in, just settle into the vibe real quick. That meant starting most of my days off with a game of ping pong. Okay. We have a fun relationship. <laughs> we get crazy with our ping pong games. It gets heavy here, so you have to watch out. <laughs> Especially with Linda's big ass boots. Linda's got a very competitive spirit. <laughs> I got a little competitiveness in me myself, so <laughs> we definitely were giving it our all. trying to cheat when I had to go to the bathroom when I wasn't. I seriously had to pee so bad and it was distracting me from playing a good game. Get over there and play. <laughs> no, I have to pee! <laughs> she totally did that because I'm beating her 17 to 4. That was not an excuse. She was like, oh no, you're making excuses. Da -da -da -da. Like after all the liquids I drank from trying to sing, of course I'm gonna have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> After I came back from the bathroom, I was able to regain my title as the victorious ping pong champion that I am. I'm tired of this. Losing sh Snap out of it! I have to go to work. After ping pong, I was able to go back in the studio, and I had to get back in serious mode and um, finish uh, that particular song that we were working on. I got down on the floor, where I could kind of just close my eyes and get into the song. You want to sing down there? Yeah. I think you should. The title of the song is called I'm OK, but really, I'm not. And, um, and, uh, and it's a very, it's a very real song. Once upon a time, there was a girl. It was a song about my father and my past in my childhood. In her early years, she had to learn. The vocal that you're actually going to hear on the record, I had a really hard time getting through. I was crying through it. It hurt me to see the pain cross my mother's face. Every time my father's fists put her in her place. I got really, really sad. It, it's kind of self-explanatory. Bruises fade by the 
The bruises fade, you know, your emotional wounds do not go away. And I still remember how you kept me so afraid. It definitely is the most personal song on the record. Strength is my mother, but on the love she gave. Every morning that I wake, I look back at just a day. That was kind of my story of putting it out there and letting people know that you can survive it and get through it and um, turn it into something positive in the end. My uh, situation with all that kind of pushed me to be doing what I'm doing today and, and you know, it let me uh, realize that singing was an escape for me and it rescued me from reality at the time. Uh... Music and my voice being able to have it and, and to just release something out of me other than tears, it's kind of my strength. It's my only place, my safe haven in a way, you know, where I can just escape for a second. Uh...